king will not let you leave. I just want to say, when uh, he makes copies <laughs> of himself, talks to me in that stern tone of voice, and his head mutates on all three of them, I want to do nothing but leave. <laughs> It's like, hey, you want to leave? I'm going to do this horrible thing. Now don't do it. No, now I have to do it. What is... Oh, all right. The clouds are parting. Good work. So that was a quick scene transition. But of course, have I ever failed? Well, I mean, there was yeah. that one thing in Chapter 2. And apparently everything leading up to that because you were angry that you had failed. Yeah. Oh, now, oh beautiful full moon, show us your lovely form. The king said... Oh, sorry. No, I think, I think that might be the person's voice, because oh, yeah. it's not showing up as king. The king said, don't leave me. Don't leave me behind. It... I... What is this? This must be some sort of joke. I am not dreaming. Is this not reality? It is. What you and I are seeing should be real anyway. Oh. Oh. Well. That's an egg. Are you sure? I mean... They're actually doing it better than Doctor Who did. I imagine that's what it's supposed to be, but I'm not fully convinced that's that, that that's what it is. Ooh. Then, then what? <clears throat> Excuse me. That that thing actually has me a little bit flustered because I don't know if the recording caught it, but did it make some kind of screeching sound? I didn't hear anything, but ugh. I absolutely did. It was some weird screeching, almost laughing sound. Interesting. Almost like you remember when we played Undertale and Flower yeah. did the the crazy laugh? Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like that, but yeah. shortened and condensed. Okay. <sighs> then what is that hideous thing doing up there? The king made an egg. A giant enormous egg. A giant black egg to hide the kingdom away. Is... Miss Beef? Uh, Miss Beef? Ah! Ah, bright light. What a crazy dream, huh? It's... it's a little early to say that. The nightmare isn't over yet, Mon ami. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Not after you said all that flag-raising stuff, Yuya. <clears throat> Things certainly look a little different, at least. It's pitch dark all around us, and quiet. There is no sound apart from our voices. It got bright and there was that earthquake. Then the king showed up out of nowhere. What happened? I'm not entirely sure myself. I think we can safely say that the king, that king fellow, doesn't want us leaving, though. I think he shut us in. This is, this is kidnapping. Hey, Mr. King, what kind of VIP treatment is this? I don't want any of it. There's no reply. It's just a cold, dark abyss. What, what, what do we do, Nageki? Yuya? Are the others okay? The king doesn't seem to want it to let any of us go. He's probably trapped the others in here too. Of course. We can't see anything. So we can't. I can just barely make out Nageki and Yuya, but if they step back even just a little, I think I'd, I'd lose them. We can't see what's a wall and what's a corridor. We'll never find any... Oh. Uh... Hey there, in a bit of a bind day? Oh, it's the migrant. Okay. Is that you? Yeah, that one's, that one's me. Okay. I used a different voice for that. Oh. Mr. Migrant Bird. Brian. That's you. That's me. <laughs> Mr. Migrant Bird. It's good to get stuck like this. Be troubled as much as you can while you're still young. Now isn't the time for friendly old man wisdom. You know him? Well, we've... bumped into him a few times. 
He's just a hungry old man. A hungry old man? That's a depressing way of putting it. Professor... I'm sorry, I was just trying to figure out how to read the parentheses. <laughs> yeah. Professor Nanaki and the doctor are the only two adults asleep on the roof. What's going on here? You're a migrant, right, mister? Do you know how to get out of here? I haven't the slightest. If you're gonna show up right when we're stuck, you can't... <clears throat> can't you at least be useful? <laughs> I've never been good at sticking to a goal. I just wait for the wind to blow and head wherever it smells like tender grasses. There's no need for you young folks to be in such a hurry either. Why not take a break for a change? This guy's gotta know way more than he's letting on. Oh yeah. There's no way he's just some homeless chump. We appreciate the thought, but alas, we're a little short on time right now. We're one step away from a permanent vegetative state, after all. We're still alive. We shouldn't be here. Well, I may have come here naturally. Hmm? Oh, is that right? I thought there was something odd about you. So you came here early by mistake? I like living fast. Yes, that does sound like a problem. Are only dead birds... I'm sorry, wrong voice. <clears throat> Are only dead birds supposed to come here? No, that's not it. Don't look so down. You weren't far off. Really, this star isn't a place anyone should come to. What do you mean? So it's... not where we end up when we die? Birds who pass their names to the stars wander the night sky. There are any number of places to see. But there are also stars like this. Stars which aren't stars. It's a bit like a hmm, hematophid. Uh, sure, hematophid. Let's go with that. <laughs> All right, it's a, it's a bit like a hippopotamus's light, if you see what I mean. A hematophid. A lure for prey, or something like that. It's a real problem. If I get stuck on a fake star like this, I can't continue my journey. Gotta find a way out. Ah. I'll go take a look around. So he just wanders stars then? So it's like the old dangly dealy bopper thingy on the front end of an anglerfish. Is that what that is? I don't know. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's kind of like that thing. I think. It's not very bright, but... I can see some starlight now. There are tiny stars everywhere. I hadn't noticed them before. Your eyes are getting used to the darkness. See? A little break now and then can help too. He's right. My eyes are used to it now. We're standing in the center of a large, round room with two doors? Maybe everyone else is through those. Though we can't tell where they lead. Oh, don't you have your map with you? We just got shut in here. We didn't get to bring a strategy guide along. <laughs> but doesn't the morning dove there have a planisphere? And given that this place is a uh, representation of space, that makes sense. Okay, is is the planisphere a representation of space? Yeah. Oh. It's like a space map. Oh. I don't know what a planisphere is. <laughs> that was just like word salad that they threw at us when we got here. <laughs> yes, I have it. There's your map. Mageki's planisphere? It's a very nice planisphere, but while studying constellations now, really... Or we'll study constellations now, really. Okay. See? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so... Do you think that red spot is the thing that was taken out before, or...? Possibly. Or see, the... Is... That looks to be the shape of an egg, too. Yeah. The weary road of toil and strife. Her... What? Yet from the sorrows of his life builds ladder something something something. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You busy right now? I'm looking up an image of a planet here for you. Oh. <laughs> and I just see you face deep in your phone. I was like, uh. I was trying to find right. why you were reading that. <laughs> and egg. It looks a little like a dark nebula. 
That's a bad egg. When an egg turns black, it's rotten. Or it's a century egg. Oh, gross. Black is the color of a poor chick who died before hatching. We're just a bit above the very bottom now. The star's lights are bird's souls. Burning bright and happy, even in a dead egg. Yeesh. Well, this took a uh, dark turn. Yeah. So, you want to get out of here? My job here is to find everyone and get us out. Yes. I think I'm ready to go home. And I want to see tomorrow. Look, we're one step closer to hatching. Chicks grow teeth to help them tear out of their shells and into the new world. We only need them that once. With them, we can break out of the shell by our own strength. No matter how tough the shell is, it will break eventually. If the chick is alive, it can break free. This is a false star. That wasn't a real light you saw. That was the lighthouse, luring wanderers in from the Milky Way. A false star is a dangerous thing. Once you're in, it can be hard to get out. It's scary. Break the shell and burn down the false light. The morning dove there can do it. After all, he's got all the answers. Answers. I see. So all this is fake? That's a question, not an answer. Do you have a plan, Nageki? No, not really. I just know what the king was thinking when he made this place. I know why he took one of our stars, and I know why only I can break it. If I can, that is. Somehow. Hmm. Well, good luck. So, I'm guessing there's like some plot important point about the one thing that the king took out of the... Probably, the yeah. sphere. Wait. Can't you explain that a little more? Of course not. That wouldn't be any fun. Ah, too late. He's gone. Jeez. No one likes a key character who just shows up with a whole bunch of gnomic advice and doesn't actually say anything useful. Now, now, Monami. At least he gave us some hints, right? And some cause for optimism. He said that I could do it. Well, at least the gnomic and hungry old man gave Nageki some clear reassurance. Your planisphere sure is turning out to be useful, Nageki. A literal plot device. Ah, <sighs> good. A little above the very bottom. So, we're right here. And there are two stars nearby. And if the stars are what he said... Whew, excuse me, sorry. We should be able to find everyone else if we aim for the stars? Let's hope so. And there are two suspicious stars up at the top. The bright red and bright yellow. Yeah. The false lighthouse. That must be the light we saw from the plaza. And from what he said, we need to break it. All right. Now then, we'll need to head up both sides. This looks like a good time to split up, don't you think? It's never a good time to split up. <laughs> Happens all the time in longer dungeons and RPGs. I'm ready to roll. Protecting the ladies is always my first priority. I'd like to go with you, Mona me, but I'll go along. You'll be safer if you got the map with you, after all. Take care of her, all right? Right. Hey, and you know what? He's putting the adventure above his libido. And by right, I mean I'm gonna dump her ass off at the nearest bus stop. Well, the I can't... mean... What? Nothing. No, go ahead! I was uh, gonna read the next line. <laughs> well, the king trapped a... Or, yeah, the king very kindly trapped us all in a gigantic evil doom egg. Kindly. Will we escape from the dream with our lives? Tune in next time. Or should we do like m more lines just to see if it? Of course uh... we will. Oh, okay. Well, kind of ruin that. After all, this place is crazy. What kind of place doesn't have a morning radio aerobics? Priorities. Good. And so we split up. Nageki and me going through one door. You, you through the other. We'll wake everyone from this dream and smash this rotten egg from the inside. Yuya is already off and getting stuff done. We better move along too. Right. 
Yuya does seem pretty professional sometimes. He even had a real gun during that time at Christmas. Oh yeah, mm. when he sniped the tank? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he really is with the FBI or something. I'm opening the door. Are you ready? Bring it on. Oh. The lying picture book. I think this is a, uh, this might be a good stopping point before we get too deep. I feel like yeah. we're about to do a, uh, a bit of an exposition dump, and those tend to take significant amounts of time, so. Yeah. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I guess, uh, I guess we'll find out about the lying picture book. Apparently we have Maybe more hardcore time. lore in store. <laughs>